So I've got some more great questions here. They're so good. Danny C asked, uh, this is so awesome. What made you want to move to Thailand? I've been coming to Thailand for over, uh, since 1999. I always have a good time here. I really like it. And what made me come this time was Durian Rider and the festival. But it really was a girl that I met in India and she was saying to me, I think you'd really like Chiang Mai. You can do cycling there, you can get fruits there. I think you'd really dig it. So I started looking into Chiang Mai and that's when I found the fruit festival. And I was like, oh, well, if that's on, I should definitely go. Hence, I'm back again. But I'm getting more into it this time, I feel. I feel I was in the south before. I was always down in Koh Samui, which I really like in Koh Penang. I like the islands, but it's like, you, it's not the same. Here, I just feel more, I don't know, something, something's nicer in the north. Less of a, a source of income. For people and more of just someone living in a city amongst other people living in a city there's something really nice about it but I, I love it up here so i want to have a base here long term but i like to travel um what are some bands you like what are some bands you like i've actually uh got something here to uh show you well you can listen because i want to do this this video this way so my, i'm not going to talk about all the bands i like because there's just too many I'll talk about my biggest inspiration for my music, which is taking a back seat at the moment, but I want to bring it back to the fore. My biggest inspiration is this guy. So this is his first thing back in, back in the 80s. He was in a band called The Beat Mix. And this uh, is, is a song called Television. It's terrible, right? But listen. Right, so television, the drug of the nation, feeding ignorance, feeding radiation. So this is like the anger stage when you're rebelling and you're trying to make a statement to the world. And from there, in the 90s, he was doing music like this. Right, so dehumanizing the victim makes things simpler. It's like breathing with a respirator. This is more like, uh, you know, getting the message out um, about how the system is, is flawed. This is all about the Iraqi war, whatever. And this group was called the Disposable Heroes of Hypocrisy, which is, <laughs> take it away how you like it. Then in the 2000s, he's making music like this. And it's such a big change. Gee, I would stay I was the fruit, you could make a cherry pie for me. If I could be the night, my moon would play so electric lights and magic music would. If I could be the light, my moon would replace all electric, all electric lights and I would beam magic music from satellites. You would feel emotion all the time. If myself could, f if, if I could be the ocean, you would feel emotion all the time. And if I were the words, everything everybody said would rhyme. I mean, come on, right? That's quality. What I be is 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 what I be. What I be is what I be. I'm holding on. I love this. So that's Michael Frenti and Spearhead, right? That was probably the peak, I think. But he's got better still, but it's just got a bit more poppy sounding. But I allow it, because I know what he's doing. He's just drawing in more people to experience his spiritual words through his music. And he's sacrificing a bit of the, the roots, the integrity. But even so, this is a, basically a love song, but the chorus is not, it, 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 the message is stronger than the chorus suggests. It's like, oh, if I when I review, you're really lovely. But he's just getting people. He, he gets people in an audience to all come together, no matter who you are or how shy you are, and you're jumping up and down, shouting out, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. So the result of his art 
is worth sacrificing a little bit of the street cred he's had to let go of to create that. It's, it's fucking epic. <laughs> I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. Seriously, it just kicks off best concerts I've ever been to. Michael Franti and Spearhead. I'll put some links in the description. But yeah, that's my all-time favourite musician. Not just because of the music, because of how he's done it. The transformation he's gone through from being an angry black punk band to being an angry hip-hop band to being a soul-seeking spiritual poet, to getting huge crowds of people together, jumping up and down saying, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, with a whole bunch of strangers. That is the power of music. And if I wasn't doing this, I'd like to be doing that. Now, that took up a big chunk of the video time, but it was such a good question. I had to, uh, I had to throw it in there. So let's run through some of these. What's one fruit or veggie you've ever put in a smoothie? I'm surprised to find it was so delicious. <laughs> I can't, you're, gonna, you're gonna die with this one. A banana. Who would have fucking thought? <laughs> a blended banana would be so good in, in every way. It's not what you put in it. It's the banana makes everything taste good. You can put fucking ginger in it. Cinnamon. You, I bet you could put like, um, old cabbage water or sauerkraut or something rank and the banana would be like, yeah, give me that. I just made that taste really good. So banana. Um, uh, da, 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 da. You, how are you so consistent in uploading? It's my passion. I love making videos. I love talking to you. This is one of my favorite subjects. So I, it's just easy, just, I just spin them out. Um, where'd you get these shirts from? I told this story in another video, but basically I was going through Chiang Mai, I'm quite big and I'm in Thailand where everyone's small, can't find any clothes here. So uh, that's always been a bit of a struggle. And I found this one woman and she's got, always got my size, but they're all shirts like this. And I didn't want to know. I was like, no, nah, mate, I don't wear shit like that. And she's like, try it on, try it on. And I, I tried on one and I just fell in love with them. And then I bought, bought uh, six. They're really cheap, like compared to if they were in the West. But uh, let's not tell anyone that. Let's just pretend they're really expensive. Now they're, they're great shirts. And some, there's another question here. Yeah, here it is. And that was from Damien This. The other question was from M M Mikey Quark. And then uh, this one is from Alison L. I'd like to add, which is your favorite shirt? This one, I wore it for the video. It, how can you not, you're into fruit, look at that. Avocado, strawberry, that looks like a plum actually. That's a blueberry. That's an av another avocado up there. Uh, that's just fucking epic, isn't it? Mangoes, you know, yellow one, it's just, it's just a sliced fruit shirt. Um, my other question, my question is, are you of Cypriot origin? No, I'm not of Cypriot origin. Um, wow, well, I've done a lot of questions. Amazing. Yeah, I'm not of Cypriot origin. I'm uh, from Nigeria, well, English, Nigerian, Irish. So I'm a bit brown and I can speak, I'm from Nigeria. And I come to this country because I want to make some money to take that. I'm talking freaking Mexican. I can do a Nigerian accent, but it's gonna take some work. I'll save it for another video. But I really, I really like, but I really like the way, way. I'm gonna practice it live right here. Come on, Nigerian. I just bought a new car. It's a very good car. Would you like to come for a drive in my car? It's very fast. I'm from Nigeria and I like to eat yaki. So I'm kind of making it up, but um, I'll practice it and I'll do a whole video, maybe, with a Nigerian accent. I've never been there, don't know who my relatives are, don't know anybody in my family. There's five in my family, mum, dad, brother, brother, me. There's often the dog, uh, but it's a dog uh, uh, which died recently, but you know, there's six of us including the dog. And that's it, we don't know anybody else, we don't know any aunts, uncles. Oh my God, of course we have expanded. My brother has a nephew. Um, my brother has a son, so I have a nephew who's absolutely amazing, one of the most amazing children I've ever, ever come across. But uh, how did I get onto that? What did you ask me? My roots. My roots, this is it. This is where they start. <laughs> okay, enjoy the video. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.